वेलकम साधकास टू है प्रॉपर इनिशिएशन एंड एक्सपोयर टू दैल्यूज ऑफ वैदिक मैथमेटिक्स वी शेल विजिट एंड बी पैरल विथ the foundation lessons being taken up today vedic mathematics is a complete system in itself it is a unique system ganita sutras mathematics being a complete system and having its own organization format and its processing system being unique so vedic mathematical domain is to be approached the vedic way for it we have to visit and we have to be parallel with its foundation it is for this initiation of vedic mathematical domain that today we are visiting initial 10 foundation lessons of vedic mathematics the first lesson is all about devanagari varnamala the text of ganita sutras is in devanagari varnamala the text of ganita sutras is availing the format features of devanagari varnamala each letter of devanagari varnamala has its unique placement has its placement value and it also carries along with it all format features of varnamala while it becomes the component of the composition of the word formulations of the text of ganita sutras this being so we have to begin with devanagari varnamala itself we have to acquaint ourselves well and we also have to be parallel with the features of this alphabet this alphabet in fact is a compactified alphabet it is a compactified full alphabet of five formats the topmost is the letters alphabet varan beneath it is the numbers alphabet ank and still beneath it is thapatya the geometric format therefore the devanagari varnamala as it appears to us as being sound bits carrying letters but the same in fact is of multi folds and these folds are five in number sequentially these are varan letter alphabet ank numbers alphabet sthapatya geometric alphabet and the geometric formats are of three folds which are called bahir external characteristics madhye middle characteristics and antarik the internal characteristics of the dimensional bodies the five fold alphabet as it is ultimately brings the things within a particular dimensional domain so the mathematics of ganita sutras availing devanagari alphabet letters ultimately takes us for processing of the dimensional domains so the processing is of four folds within a domain once there are pair of elements pair of bodies pair of entities within the same dimensional domain then it is called salokya when pair of distinct bodies come near to each other within the same dimensional domain 
it is called samitya nearness and when the pair of bodies the pair of entities within the same domain being near to each other or acquiring same forms same values then it is called sarupya and step ahead when these same formated entities unite it is called sayujya it amounts to having a reach for each and every element entity component of a dimensional domain at the origin seat once this reach is there then the reached components the reached entities the reached bodies become swam bhu self referral acquiring properties which work of their own without any external intervention let me have a pause the first letter to the last letter of the text of ganita sutras is in fact the system of caring the format features of the letters of devanagari alphabet themselves these are five folds of devanagari format varan ank sthapatte bahir madhye antarik sthapatte then saloke samipe sarupe and sayujye and ultimately swambhu these are 10 phases and stages of the values and features of the individual letters of devanagari varanmala the first foundation lesson of vedic mathematics of ganita sutras as such comes to be the knowledge of values and features of the individual letters of devanagari varanmala devanagari alphabet the second lesson is the knowledge about number value 29 number 29 with its organization as 16 plus 13 is parallel with the organization of 16 sutras and 13 of sutras <coughs> the value 29 as 16 plus 13 takes us to two parts complementary and supplementary parts and number value 16 as numbers 1 to 16 will give rise to the frequency of reach at value 16 of the choices from the numbers values 1 to 16 as 2 raised to power 15 and likewise the choices of numbers values 1 to 13 for summation value 13 comes to be 2 raised to 12 now the number value 29 as 29 discrete points are having 28 gaps the number value 29 is the transcendental code value of brahma and number value 28 is the transcendental code value of formulation brahm so a reach from brahma to brahm is the reach of the number value 29 now the organization of 29 as 16 plus 13 and the frequency of choices from numbers range 1 to 16 for summation value 16 being 2 raised to power 15 so when we reach at the value 2 raised to power 15 it comes to be 
32,768, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, continue. And it will give us a reach at 32,768 as 2 raised to power 15. Now, 2 raised to power 12 takes us to value 4,096 and 1 power less for having a reach from 29 discrete points to 28 gaps. The value will be 2,048. Now, 32,768 value of 2 raised to power 15, together with 2,048 as value of 2 raised to power 11, makes the value 34,816. This value 34,816 is 81 more than 34,735. And the value 34,735 is the value of unwritten letters of the text of Sakla Rigved Samhita. Let me have a pause and state it as that Sakal Rigved Samhita, the Rigved Samhita is a scripture of 4,32,000 syllables, out of which 34,735 are unwritten, unmanifest letters. So number value 29, as such, for its 28 gaps, leads to value 34,816, which is 81 more than 34,735, and 81 is equal to 3 raised to the power 4, and this as such is equal to the solid origin of two space and square as quadruple quarter squares with quadruple solid origins with the power 3 raised to the power 4 makes this as a system. This is a Vedic system. This is the system which is becoming foundational basis base mathematics of the Vedic knowledge, Vedic scriptures. The source of Vedic scripture is Sakal Rigved Samhita. The scripture of 432,000 syllables out of which 34,735 are unmanifest and this, together with 3 raised to the power 481, the transcendence at the origin of the quadruple quarter squares. As we know, this is ultimately going to be the dimensional frame of four space, spatial order space of quadruple spatial dimensions, dimensional frame. It is this way that number value 29 will bring us face to face with as to how the pair of faces of the surface will yield value 81 plus 81 is 162. And further, the pair of quadruple quarter squares will make six space and the total value will come to be 168 which is 8 into 21. 21 is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 6 parallel with Stapatya Mairing rod and this as such becomes the dimensional frame of Asht Prakriti and further 168 is parallel with the total number of primes up till Shahishtr, 1000. Shahishtr is of TC value 23, which is also the TC value of Anand, infinitely infinite. So number value 29 brings us face to face with the way Vedic mathematics of Vinita Sutras is the basis based foundational mathematics of Vedic knowledge and Vedic systems, which is parallel with Asht Prakriti, Eightfold Nature, so the existence phenomenon of our solar universe.
The third lesson is about the way Ganita Sutras and Ganita Upsutras make integrated format. Sixteen Sutras make a complete system in themselves. Thirteen Upsutras as well make a complete system in themselves. But these are complementary and supplementary. These are also parallel with each other. And so these together make an integrated format. And the integrated format is of organization features as is on the computer screen, as that between Sutra 1 and Sutra 2, is the placement of Up Sutra 1. And this continues up till Sutra 7. But Sutra 8 and Sutra 9, both being of 16 letters, so they have a self-referral and they do not require bridging for these, their gaps. And like that, it makes an integrated format. And this integrated format is parallel with the organization of double digit numbers of 10 place value system as nine cross 11 grid whose upper part makes the reflection pairs of 16 and 13 as groups. So it is this integrated format of Ganita Sutras and Upsutras which ultimately takes us to the reflection pairs and as such, the mirrors get embedded in the artifices of numbers. It is this unique comprehension. It is this unique value of the organization of Ganita Sutras and Ganita Upsutras integrated format, which takes us to, which confronts us, which brings us face to face with the artifices of numbers, values, being the mirrors, so the reflection pairs, so the light, so these format values go parallel with what happens within the rays of the sun. Step ahead, the lesson four, foundational lesson four, is about the structural keys. Ganita Sutra 1 is the source of Sutra. Ganita Sutra 1 is a text of 16 letters. There are 16 Sutras. These 16 letters of Ganita Sutra 1 preserve the structural keys of Ganita Sutras 1 to 16. The first letter, A, the sixth vowel of TC value 6, is the structural key of Ganita Sutra 1. And the second letter, Ka, Ka Brahma, with TC value 4, is the structural key of Ganita Sutra 2. Like that, the 16 letters of the text of Ganita Sutra 1 preserve the structural keys for the mathematical domains of Ganita Sutra 1 to 16. As such, the sadhakas are fulfilled with the intensity of urge to be parallel with the individual mathematical domains of individual Ganita Sutras. They shall approach these mathematical domains in terms of these structural keys preserved in the respective parallel number of letters of the text of Ganita Sutra 1. One shall sit comfortably, one shall approach these foundational letters step by step, and these foundational letters as these are, these will take us to the sequential 
internal progression. This sequential internal progression is step ahead as fifth foundation letter is all about the flow formate. This flow formate is of two parts. The first part is the flow of the values of first word formulation, ekati k, and second part is the values of flow of the word formulation poor way. This pair of flow formats as values of letters of ekati k and of letters of word formulation poor way will sequentially take us to the way values are formatted for the organization of the Samhita texts. Illustratively, Rishi, Devta, Chand, and Swara as formulations are TC values 12, 26, 19, and 15, or as is the values of flow along the values of flow curve of formulation A ka the cane, as is depicted along the computer screen and step ahead these values of flow will be for framing the mantras and those are going to be parallel with the dimensional frame of Surya six space domain as a Purusha and it is going to be Divya Ganga Prava through the components of soul cell bell O as is the depiction on the computer screen at the second part of this flow chart of the word formulation poor way. Once we are in with this mental state of these five foundational lessons, then we can formally begin with the very first letter, Swara, sixth Swara, sixth vowel, Varan, of Ankh, number value six, of Sthapatya, six space body, hypercube six, of the external as a transcendental boundary of 12 components, as Madhya, as the middle geometry of six space of Euro signature, and then Antrik, the innermost reach as hypercube six of quadruple folds, dimension, boundary, domain, and origin, four, five, six, seven of summation value 22. This sixth foundational letter, foundational lesson, in fact, is going to be the first lesson as far as the reach within the mathematical domain of Ganita Sutra 1 to begin with is going to be in terms of the structural key of the first letter that is of the sixth vowel. One shall sit comfortably and be parallel with this unique processing technique of the organization format of the text of Ganita Sutras. And once we will be so initiated to be parallel with this processing uniqueness setup of the mathematics, then we can proceed ahead for 
the internal flow, the quadruple internal organization as Salukya, Samipya, Sarupya and Sajujya will be blissful attainment. The Salukya means within the same dimensional domain the Salukya will take us to six spaces and origin. Samipya will take up to the nearness of the domain and origin. And then Sarupya will take us to as to how the spatial order of the creative dimension of the self-referral domain, the six space domain will because of 2 plus 2 is got 2 multiplied by 2, will bring in the simultaneous manifestation existence of full unit bodies and half unit bodies. Hypercube 6 of full unit and hypercube 6 of half unit are going to be the parallel manifestations. And it is this phenomenon of parallel manifestations which is to be properly glimpsed, imbibed. With this glimpsing and with this imbibing of the creative domain having simultaneous manifestation of a pair of sequential bodies of full unit and half unit we will be parallel with the attainments of the mathematical domains of Vedic Ganita Sutras. With this, we will be having a reach for the Swambhu, the self-referral feature. The Swambhu formulation is of this value 48 which is two multiplied by four by six, which is parallel with the value of the dimensional frame of a six space. And this, this way brings us as to how six as number value of Surya, 28 as number value of Brahm makes it to be a self-referral flow as six spaces dimension will take us to nine spaces origin and nine space as nine space content will split nine seven seven dimensions and five as the dimension of dimension making it value 28. One shall sit comfortably one shall be parallel with these values of self-referral swambhu state. And once we will be in a privileged mental state, being parallel with this swambhu self-referral flow of the existence phenomenon of unique interactions of manifestation, transcendence and re-manifestation of the sun, we will be blissfully within the Vedic mathematical domain. And it is here where the basic ank, mool ank will be the prime mathematical tools, mathematical entities. The formulation mool ank is of TC value 21 plus 8 is equal to 29. There are 29 sutras. The values range 1 to 29 is having 10 primes. So initially, when we will be approaching the mathematical domain in terms of numbers 1 to 10, then the same will of its own 
get transformed into a system of 10 primes. And it is this bliss which will take us to the numbers range 1 to 16, leading to factors 29. And numbers values 1 to 29, leading to factors 57, which is 28 plus 29. So a reach from Brahma, creator of the Supreme, the forehead Lord, the presiding deity of four space, the presiding deity of the Maya of the Mayring Rod is having lively base of 28 Brahm. Brahm is lively making Brahma as the creator. It is this value which will take us to as that the sutras are of 283 letters text and of sutras are 236 letters text. And how this organization is parallel with the organization of the text of Srimad Bhagavad Gita, we have to begin with number value 10 as a pair of digits, one and zero, summation value one, and the number value one itself, a single digit. How this is having interlocking, interdependence, intertransformation, and as the parallel flow systems for it, we shall have the text of Srimad Bhagavad Gita before us and the text of Ganita Sutras before us and then see how the text of Srimad Bhagavad Gita of 700 shlokas range with its punctuations as 47, 72 and so on. Shlokas are having gap values which sum up as 283 equal to the total letters of the text of Ganita Sutras. On the computer screen is the tabulation of the parallel placements, formats of the shlokas of letters of the text of Gita and the letters of the text of Ganita Sutras. So the chapter one of Srimad Bhagavad Gita and chapter and <coughs> Shiloka Sutra wise as 10th Sutra and chapter two as the 11th Sutra, 11th Ganita Sutra. It is this tabulation when is comprehended for the organizational interlocking of 18 chapters of Gita with the 16 Vedic Gita Sutras, then we will be blissfully at the foundational format for having proper initiation for working out and availing the values of Vedic mathematics. Thank you very much.